Hi, I'm John Park, and this is a Chewbacca mask. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the audio so that we're not listening to the standard old Wookiee sounds, as nice as they are, uh, but instead be able to replace them with any sound effects that we want. Now it is time to take it apart. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the battery cover, and then the battery has a little Phillips screw. The next stop is these eight screws. We're going to unscrew those and then we'll be able to get inside the mask. Luckily Chewbacca here pretty much has one size of screw for everything that we're going to deal with except for one exception on the inside. The screws are out. I'm going to hold on to the jaw here, make sure it doesn't pop out as I pry out the inner mask. You can see that this just comes off like that. Quick aside, this is a fun, terrifying gladiator mask. If you want to run around the neighborhood, maybe search for Pokemon, freak people out. The next thing we're going to do is have a look at the inner workings of the mask here. Two little limit switches there are going to be contacted. First cam, this is the inner switch. Now, if I open the jaw wider, the second switch is going to get pressed and we can hear the different sounds. I'm going to remove the jaw and then we can just press the switches to see how that works without the jaw in place. And we can set the jaw aside. Here's the inner switch that gets pressed. It's a tiny little limit switch. And then this is the outer switch. There is a set of wires going from these switches up to a central area there. And so that's where we're going to assume some sort of processor uh, with the sound effects baked into it is sitting, uh, as well as a little bit of the circuitry to sense when the switches have been pressed and to drive the speaker. So this here is the speaker. Got a couple of yellow wires running up to this area as well. I mentioned earlier that we want to save one slightly different size screw. So that little shorter screw is the one that we're going to try to keep track of for placing this center bracket post back in place later. That's actually where we're going to put our own new circuit. Pull out this little piece of plastic. Now I can see the circuit board that runs the whole operation. So there's a little blob of epoxy there that's covering up whatever the chip is that's holding the sound effects. And then we've got the circuitry for amplification of the sound effect and regulating the power. What I'd recommend at this point is get a good microphone and create a digital recording of the original Chewbacca sounds so that you can put those back onto the audio effects board later. I'm going to clip the wires running to the battery pack and I'll clip them about midway. And then I'm going to just pop that plastic forward and out. Then I'm going to lift it up off of that post where we had unscrewed the bracket earlier. Okay, so free battery pack and it's even got a cover. So you could use this for a future project that doesn't mind having a very strange looking battery pack. Okay, so this little speaker here is actually pretty good and we're going to reuse this for our project. So there's no need to remove that, but we are going to want to clip those two yellow wires off of the original circuit board so that we can then solder those into our audio effects board. To go. And now what I'm going to do is clip the three wires that run down to the switch and back. And there's Chewbacca's original brain. Sorry, Chewie. Okay, our Chewbacca mask is ready for a brain transplant. So let's take a look at the parts of the circuit that we're going to build. This is the audio effects mini soundboard. This is going to hold all of our sound effects and be used to trigger them. We'll power it with a LiPo battery and battery backpack, and we'll use this little Class D amplifier to power the speaker. Power switch to turn this whole thing on and off. And then we have a multi-position selector knob that'll be used to choose from the different sound banks that we have on the board. Here's how it's going to work. 
When the jaw opens and closes, it's going to flip one of our switches. That in turn is going to run through the selector knob and trigger one of the multiple banks that are on the sound effects board. The first thing we're going to do is jumper the two pads on the back of the LiPoly backpack so that we can charge at a higher rate. The next thing we're going to do is cut the trace between these two pads so that we can add a switch to the circuit to power it on and off. I'm going to use this two position switch to power the whole system on and off with a click of a button. Next thing we're going to do is solder the little LiPo backpack onto the audio effects board. So we'll start with three pin section of headers and solder those to the VIN ground and bus on the audio effects board like this. And then the backpack will sit on top of that. Okay, now that I've got that soldered in place, I'm gonna place the backpack on there. Okay, so now we're gonna take a little two inch piece of wire and attach it to the header pin that's on the battery pin of the LiPoly charger. And that's what's going to run over to the amplifier circuit. If you want, you can twist the wire up a little bit so that it fits around the pin just using a pair of tweezers, and that'll give it a little bit more mechanical strength in the connection. Now what we want to do is prepare to run a couple of leads off of the ground on the audio effects board, and those will be connected both to the amplifier and to the momentary switch of the mask. And this is going to go into this ground. And I'm glad I didn't get shot in the eye with that. The next thing we're going to do is solder the audio amplifier to the effects board. So I will go ahead and attach the red wire here to the V in. Okay, and now ground coming from the board into the ground of the amplifier. All right, that's now connected for power. Uh, now I want to connect the audio outputs left and ground that come off of the effects board to the amplifier. Uh, instead of using wires for that, I'm going to use header pins so that we have a mechanical connection and this whole little section of board will be our transplanted brain that goes into Chewbacca. Okay, we're done building the circuit, so now it's time to attach it to Chewbacca's face. Okay, what we're going to do is tin the speaker wires and solder them into the audio amplifier circuit. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is wire up our rotary selector switch. The way this works is that the center post of the switch will be connected to the momentary switch on Chewbacca's jaw. All of the other solder lugs will be connected to the audio effects board. That means when we rotate the switch to say position two, all of the audio files that are named for position two will be triggered. If we go to the next position on the switch, those are the ones that'll be triggered. So we have a whole bunch of different sound banks. And next thing we're gonna do is add some heat shrink tubing. So the next step is gonna be to tin these wires and solder them onto the audio effects board to their corresponding pins. Okay, those are soldered. There is one last connection to make here. You'll remember this little ground lead that we soldered to the audio effects board at the beginning. That is what's going to get connected to the momentary switch on the mask, I'll create the circuit when we open the jaw. There we go. And the circuit is complete. This is the moment of truth. What we're gonna do is hook up a LiPo battery. This is a 500 milliamp battery I have. And I'm gonna hook that up to the LiPo backpack and then test out the circuit. And we see the board light up. That's a really good sign. That means that we have power to the board. And now it's time for reassembly.
If you're an adult with a big-ish jaw and chin, you may want to remove this so you don't trigger the sound uh, just by small movements of your head. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew these two screws here and just take this piece out. It's sized a little bit more for kids. Maybe it's supposed to be a kid's toy, I don't know. And with those screws out, you can just lift this piece out and set it aside. Now what I want to do is screw the whole circuit into place inside the mask. There's this little post where we removed the bracket earlier and we saved this little screw. So I'm going to connect the upper left standoff of the audio effects board to that position there and it's going to hold it all very securely in place. It's also still going to give us access to the USB port if we ever want to change the audio files later. Uh, this can also be used for charging the battery. Okay, that's a pretty good fit right there. And now I will place the battery pack underneath. But there we go. That's actually held pretty securely in place. I'm going to route the switch up through this hole. Leave that hanging out there for a moment. Now we want to deal with mounting our selector switch. This is going to go through a small hole in the back of the mask. So there's this little vent hole here. I'm going to cut this little piece out with some diagonal cutters, and then we'll be able to fit the selector switch through there. Okay, it's just going to go up through there like that. Pretty nice. And now let's see if we can get the nut screwed onto there. I'll test that out by placing the knob back on the end of the shaft here, and good. I can go both directions and I don't feel that loosening up. Time to reattach the jaw. There we go. And now I'm going to pop the back of the face plate on. You just want to be careful about routing the wires so that they don't get pinched. Work your way around. It's just time to screw in the eight screws that we removed at the beginning. Looking good. We can also, instead of having this cute little uh, cowlick dangling out of the front of his face, route that wire into the battery pack area, attach it right there. When the circuit is on and powered by the battery, you'll see that this little LED is lit. That's a way to know that this thing is working. I'm actually going to turn that off before I plug it in to USB and take it to my computer to add audio wave files. And that can also be used for charging it later. All right, I've loaded the audio files on. I can unplug from USB and I'm going to turn it on and test it out. That's not me making that noise, it's the mask! Stop! Oh, I gotta stop! Wow! Uh. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to let Chewbacca talk here. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. That is the Happy Chewbacca Mask. Such a happy Chewbacca! That is the Happy Chewbacca Mask Rebuild. That's not what it's called.